when when Whoa. somebody was killed here on the job. They didn't have a funeral like we do these days. They just threw the guys in the hole. When they when they were digging rocks out, they had a hole. They just somebody got killed. They just chunk him in there. If his mule got killed with him, they threw his mule in the hole with him. And so that's why we think John Henry's actually buried. John Henry is America's most famous folk hero. He's the guy that beat the evil steam drill in a race back in 1870 because he wanted to save the jobs of all of his friends. Since then, he's been on Disney, and a whole bunch of really famous actors have told his story. Even Johnny Cash sang a song about him. He's even on a U.S. postal stamp. But being engineers, we really wanted to know. Did John Henry die? So we went directly to where the legend all started. Today, we're here at John Henry Park. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I am Rick Moorfield. The contest, according to the ballad, which we uh, used, John Henry drove still 14 feet and the steam drill only nine. The thing what happened was, uh, again, you have to realize that the Burley steam drill was a brand new invention. That, that's, a, that's a drill hole right there. What they would do was they would have a piece of steel with a chisel point on it, of course, and he would have what was called a shaker, and, and uh, John Henry's shaker was named Bill. Uh, the shaker would hold the steel, and your steel driver get back there and bang on that steel. And what happened, it would just a little bit at a time chip that rock. And when the steel driver would hit the steel, his shaker would twist it, and it, it kind of spun that loose filings out. But what happened with the steam drill, it didn't have enough power so that when it created, uh, you know, chipped off a bunch of rock, it clogged up the steel, and it wouldn't spin, it wouldn't drill anymore. So the whole time, John Henry's just pounding away in the deal. And so John Henry drove it by 14 and the drill on the so Wow. That's the legend. Did you know that? No. Whoa. How long was the contest? Well, I really haven't seen any reference to exactly how long it went. Uh, was it like a couple of days or a couple of weeks? Or one day. Or one day? I, I kind of have the suspicion it might have been one day. One day? Yeah. <laughs> and one of the interesting thing about building tunnels, I'll teach you a little bit about tunnel construction. When they started this, they didn't start right here where we're standing at this level. They actually started up there at the top. What? Yeah, you start digging your hole at the top, at the top point you want your tunnel to be. And so you dig in so far, then you pull back out, and then you start another pan, another layer. And so it kind of goes like they're digging back. And that way you keep working each section forward as you advance the tunnel. Wow, he's a big guy, isn't he? Yeah, he was supposed to be six foot tall and at least 200 feet. Why was he a folk hero? Well, you know, when John Henry had his, had his battle with the steam drill, when he beat the drill, they took the drill apart and took it away. And that meant that John Henry and all his buddies got to keep their jobs. After that, when he beat the drill, it became a symbol of you know, man versus a machine, and that man could be just as productive as a machine. And That's cool. Thought. The burning question is, we all want to know is, did John Henry die? There are some accounts that say that he passed out and died as soon as the contest was over. Uh, other people say it was as much as a couple of days later. It's purportedly buried a thousand feet from the eastern portal, about 12 feet from the main CNO line. Well, about a thousand feet from here, it drops down into the wetland area and where there was a sandbar. And we think that's actually when, when yeah. somebody was killed here on the job. They didn't have a funeral like we do these days. They just threw the guys in the hole. When they, when they were digging rocks out, they had a hole, they just, somebody got killed, they just chunk him in there. If his mule got killed with him, they threw his mule in the hole with him. And so that's why we think John Henry's actually buried right up here. We're at John Henry, Henry's burial site. We think he's right over the hill here, somewhere in the vicinity of where he was buried. Cool. <laughs> it was my pleasure, Rick. I really enjoyed doing it. And we learned a lot about John Henry today, didn't we? Yeah. We did. See you in the next video. It's right up there. <laughs>